in the majesty of its mountains, in the grace of its falls, in the diversity of its forests, wetlands, and plant and animal life. The Northern Catskill region of upstate New York is one of the great natural wonders of the world. The Mountaintop Arboretum was founded in 1977 by Dr. Peter Ahrens and his wife Bonnie as a scientific station to study trees that could withstand the rigorous climate of the 2400 foot elevation. It would soon evolve into a center for environmental education and family recreation. Programs and lectures became so popular that the seasonal structure that housed them became inadequate to the task. A new education center and maintenance barn needed to blend seamlessly with the natural surroundings and at the same time meet the challenges of an expanding audience, especially outside the summer season. But how? Timberframe architect Jack Soban came up with the answer. The building would be made of trees from the surrounding woods and stone from the basement excavation. And it would be handcrafted by the skill of local artisans. In short, the building would be made of everything the Mountaintop Arboretum honors. This building will be an introduction to the Arboretum. I like the idea of a magical building, something that has sort of a storybook character to it. There's plenty of boring architecture out there that does not inspire people. So what we envision here is something that is an interesting, fascinating building on its own. One of the goals of the project was to make a building that was eco-friendly and does its part to help with the environment. So. It's a showpiece for a sustainable building as well. The process began by searching the property for the right trees to craft the beams, posts, and siding. If you want to be lightly on the landscape and, and be good to the forest, you pick a mixture of trees because that's what the forest is. You know, we have 20-something species in the forest, if you just pick one, you're going to change the makeup of the forest. So we want to go in there and we want to take a little bit of everything sort of in the same proportion that is in the forest. In autumn, the forest floor is at its most fragile state. Removing logs with mechanized equipment can be damaging. An innovative, if slightly retro, solution was found. More horsepower. A team of Belgian draft horses, to be precise. The Arboretum wanted to do low impact. That's why we're pretty much doing things old school. By next spring, other than the stumps and the sticks that are left, you won't even know that we were here doing what we were doing. Once all the trees have been cut, they are sent off-site where skilled artisans undertake the arduous process of prepping the timber. Timber framing is a really organic process. It's strong, it's durable. Our stick frame buildings now are designed to maybe last half of a lifetime, where these buildings last generations. Timber framing is a craft of joining timbers together through mortise and tenons or lapped and dovetailed joinery. And it's pegged and held in place with wooden pegs. We hand-selected, I believe it's 21 different species from the forest. They were sawn up on a bandsaw mill, on a custom sawmill that can saw extra long timbers. And then the first thing we do is plane everything down. Generally, that's kind of the mundane, boring, tedious part, but it's actually really kind of fun and exciting in, in this frame because they're all different species. And so, you know, kind of everything's a little surprise, you know, everything works a little bit differently and you get to, you know, get a feel for how everything looks, which adds something special to this project. Traditionally in timber framing, horse and tenon joints are held together with a wooden pin, like this. So when you drive a tapered pin through those offset holes, it sucks up the joint tight. And it actually puts a bend in this peg, which keeps it tight as the timber dries. 
So it's just a superior way of doing this. Timber framing was once the method of construction. It was what was used primarily up till about the 1840s or 50s or so when stud framing was developed. And this rush, this industrial revolution rush, we've thrown away some really great things. It still made sense today. After three years of work, the education center is finally ready to be raised. People are, are starving for real things, something that has a little bit of background, some history to it, that uses natural products rather than artificial things. And then when you see animals pulling your logs out of the woods in the snow and, and you see people raising up a building with their hands, you can't put a price on that because the people are part of that. The local forest was part of that. It just means so much more when it's done that way. My inspiration is the forest. And I try to bring that environment into the building as much as I can. I think we're oftentimes separated from the natural environment in our buildings. So whenever you can make a building that's more natural, which brings in natural light and fresh air from the outside and uses natural materials that are healthier for us, materials we've, we've been surviving with for thousands of years, stone, timber, earth, doing things in, in as much a natural way as possible. A building like this could easily last many generations. We've seen buildings hundreds of years old, timber framed across the country. It's gonna be really neat to see our kids and then our grandkids and even their kids enjoy this building. They say that it's hard to improve upon nature. Why try to improve upon that? Just use those curves from nature, accent them in the building, and focus on its own beauty. We've left the character of the tree. There'll be thousands of visitors going through this building and seeing what organic timber framing is, seeing you know, how we can use our, our native trees and the stone. We want to be able to go in there and to, to see more than just walls and a ceiling. We want them to see what the forest can do, what good eco-friendly architecture is like, what warm, honest building systems are like. We brought the forest inside the building. 